Hi yo folks, this is Max from GalaxyNexusRoot.com So I've got review of the uh, updated review of the Paranoid Android Tablet Mode Hybrid um, ROM I really like this, um, when I first reviewed it, it wasn't as refined as now um, But now you have a lot more cool features um, So that's the tablet mode, it's really cool because you can actually access all your settings and hear stuff and You can actually turn off, um, you know, turn on Bluetooth or you know, straight from your lock screen. Um, kind of cool. Um, so my Bluetooth is on. And uh, it comes with, I think, an Apex launcher. Does it come with an Apex launcher? Yes. Oh, no, no. It comes with Nova launcher, which is very similar to Apex launcher. I think they're nearly identical. And, um, so it's a tablet mode. And you can uh, use it as a phone mode also. Um, you'll see that it's kind of a hybrid. So you got the you still get the menu buttons with the um, the tablet stuff, which is really cool. Um, if you go to settings, um, cancel, and about phone, um, you'll find it 4.0.4, a paranoid Android ROM. And uh, when you first uh, start up settings, I've noticed that the bar actually goes away. So what you can do is just unplug a uh, hybrid mode and then re-enable it. All right? And uh, you can mess with these values, default user um, DPI for uh, base density for non-system apps. So this is the DPI that's going to use, um, if you set it to, I think, the lower number, the, the, you know, the smaller your app's going to look. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to put it at tablet base for now. Um, system user, I think this is for the, the uh, system apps, I don't, I don't really have to mess with that. Um, but the coolest part is um, you can actually set the value per um, per app. Like for example, Netflix. I can switch from uh, phone mode to tablet mode very very easily. And I'll show you what my Netflix looks like. This is actually phone mode, right? So let's say I want to go change it um, to tablet mode. And I'll just put tablet mode, and I'll ask you to four stop. Say yes. And then open up Netflix again, and voila, you got tablet mode app. So this ROM is great because you can actually run the apps in tablet mode or in the phone mode. Um, so you can do this and adjust it, and uh, it's, I'm telling you, this is a lot more fun than um, being on a stock, um, what is it, stock Galaxy Nexus, of course. So you can also disable the tablet mode if you want. Um, also, there's performance settings. Uh, per, per, um, this is actually based off, um, what is it? Sort of based, built off CM9. So um, you can overclock it a little bit there, like that. I would suggest 1.344, the highest possible. Um, other than that, you get the launcher theme system that you can mess with that comes with standard uh, CM9. Uh, but I really love it. Now, um, the developer actually kind of made it super hybrid, and I liked it. Last time it was just kind of tablet with um, stuff, but now you can actually um, change the DPI on each app, which is really, really cool. Um, and also the browser, you can. Um, so now that's in. Uh, this is in tablet mode. Um, what you can do is there's actually uh, under settings, under system, um, status bar, you can have it um, auto hide on some apps and this will auto hide um, the status bar so you get a full screen out of it I think. Is that okay? Okay, well, I'll have to play with this a little bit real quick. So let's say you're using this ROM, you love everything about um, the tablet mode features, um, but let's say you don't like the browser, um, it's too damn, damn small, it's too damn small to read. Um, then what you can do is uh, you can go back to uh, the settings, the beauty of this long ROMs, you can go back to paranoid settings, go to all, and you'll see the DPI on the browser, um, you can change it. You can change it um, to change it, or you can just change the default to phone mode or tablet mode to keep it simple. Um, but you can also mess with the DPI numbers, which will allow you to um, kind of change the DPI on each app. So now I go to browser. Um, it actually looks the same. Sorry, let me try that again. 
Oh, I think I still have to change the DPI here. Let me set it to like 320, see what that does. And then now, now let's go open up browser again. And there you go. Now you got the uh, phone mode. So you, you have to still, I think, mess with the DPI numbers, but the optional option is there. And uh, you can change it to like 160, right? This will make it uh, look super small. I mean, you could do this all day long. Look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Um, so it's a great ROM. You can mess with it. You can, you know, you can get uh, some apps. It's um, better on the tablet side, and some apps is better with the um, the phone phone app. Um, so you can get the both best of both worlds. Um, I'm really loving this. Other than that, you also get DSP Manager, um, and uh, that's pretty much it. I, I like it. Um, and it's available now for all Galaxy Nexus, and I have an how to install video. Um, so you're not going to complain to me um, that you don't know how to install it. Go install it. Of course, you'll need a rooted uh, Galaxy Nexus, unlock Galaxy Nexus. Um, you can go do that at galaxynexusroot.com. And if you have a Galaxy Nexus, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynexusroot.com. Uh, where I update you once or twice a week with ROM reviews and stuff like this and I don't share your email with anyone else and it's a great way for you to communicate with me to you and uh, um, yeah if you're on YouTube don't forget to hit that like button for me and uh, it helps me greatly subscribe to my channel a button up there and you can also subscribe to my main channel at Zetomax um, and uh, also share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus and uh, we're gonna have that Galaxy S3 giveaway um, as soon as I get my my main account back. Um, it's been uh, temporarily dis disabled um, due to some um, some flagging of some some of my videos. Um, but hopefully that'll be resolved. Um, it'll definitely be resolved in two weeks. But I I really can't wait that long. But hopefully it'll, it'll go through this week. Um, if that that's the case, I'll have the uh, the contest up on my main. Um, site for Galaxy S3. Anyway, thanks you guys for supporting my channel. Um, stay high on Android and uh, um, that's it. So see y'all later.